Today I'm gonna to show you the best video camera apps for Android and surprisingly most of them are free. At least there's some really great ones that are free and they're in no order of importance. So make sure you watch the entire video so you don't miss out on one of these apps. And if your favorite app doesn't make the list, go down, leave a comment and let me know. You know I read every single comment and I reply to as many of them as possible. When this video is over, I'm gonna go down there and carry on the conversation. And if you're new to the channel, drop a hashtag new along with any questions or comments you might have and make sure you hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos that are gonna help you make better content on your phone. Now let's dive into the first app. Open Camera is the first app we're gonna talk about today. It is a totally free app. There are no ads inside of this app. It is insanely powerful. I can't believe it's free, to be honest with you. It gives you all the professional manual features that you want. In the settings, you can change the resolution. You can change the speed. You can add grids if you want and the type of grid that you wanna add. It has a white balance feature, so you can choose the white balance. And it has a couple of looks. So if you wanna shoot normally, or you can shoot in black and white, or you can shoot in one of the other colors, that they have. I personally use none when it comes to color effect. I like to change all of that inside the video editor, but you do whatever you wanna do. Next up is a totally free app called Camera MX. If you go into the settings of Camera MX, you can choose your video resolution. You can add grids on the screen. You have other settings as well. You can change your photo resolution if you wanna take photos with it. And it also has a time-lapse video feature, which is really cool. And I think that's amazing for a free app. And if you're using an external mic, you wanna go into settings and choose the audio source. If you don't already have it set, it might set as default, but when you plug in the camera, you do have an option to use an external microphone. Camera MX also comes with a handful of filters that they give you for free. I personally am not using the filters. I think it's kind of Instagrammy, but if it's a look that you're going for, knock yourself out. They're available if you wanna play with them. And you can see right here along the top, it's pretty easy to set your exposure. You go up to the little light bulb and you can actually drag it to the left or drag it to the right to dial in the right exposure that you want for your shot. Camera MX is a super powerful app. It gives you a lot of manual controls. I'm actually blown away at the fact that it's free. So this is something that you definitely wanna check out if you don't wanna spend any money here. Now, if you're wondering if you need manual controls or not, here's what manual controls actually do for you. Manual controls allow you to change the ISO, change the exposure, change the frame rate, change the focus, change the white balance. It allows you to basically get in and control every aspect of the app, just like you would a DSLR camera. Is this right for you? I don't know because I I don't know what type of content that you're shooting. You might just be perfectly fine setting up your phone, putting it on a tripod or holding it in your hand, hit and record using the native recorder on your phone and off and away you go. That works for a lot of people and that might work for you. But if you can learn how to dial this in and get your white balance and your exposure just right, it's gonna make your video content look even better than it does now. Cinema FV5 is an absolute powerhouse of an app and it's totally free. They do have a paid version, but the only difference between the paid version and the free version is on the free version, they limit how long your clips can be. On a paid version, you get unlimited amount of time or as much as your phone will allow. Cinema FV5 has a ton of features. It also allows you to add a Bluetooth mic or an external mic or use the built-in mic in the camera. And out of the apps on this list, as far as I'm aware, this is the only one that works with a Bluetooth mic. Like all the other apps, it has a grid feature that allows you to turn on and off the grid so you can keep things balanced. It has white balance features where you can set it on auto or you can manually set them. It has focus features, light metering features, ISO, so you can choose auto or you can dial it in yourself. And it also has exposure that you can also set in auto or you can dial that in as well. And when you do change the exposure, it's as easy as tapping on it so it opens up and just tapping on the minus or the plus so you can tap it just one at a time to get the exact look that you want. Cinema FV5 also allows audio metering. It's a little headphone icon right there. So when you put your headphones in, you can hear what's going on when you're recording so you know if the audio is good or not. Next up on the list is a better camera. A better camera is a pretty powerful app. It works for video and photos like most of these apps do. It has a lot of features inside. It's gonna let you lock the autofocus and lock the exposure. A better camera has a bunch of settings. You can slide them out from the side on the left. You can change your focal mode, the white balance. It has more settings. You can tap on that, of course. You can switch the cameras, the front or the back. You have your exposure compensation. You have your video quality, your resolution. You have the color effect. You have exposure metering. It has a level option so you can tell if your phone is actually level or not so you're not shooting something crooked. It has a self timer and it has several grid options to help you keep everything balanced in your viewfinder. A better camera also has a really simple time-lapse feature. You just turn it on, choose how many seconds or minutes that you want, hit start and off you go. Next up is Filmic Pro. Filmic Pro is an absolute professional app in every sense of the word. Anywhere you look, it's rated five stars or the top app or the second best app. It is an absolute powerhouse when it comes to shooting video. 
And when you open up Filmic Pro, you're gonna notice up here in the bottom right that it has a bunch of features. Where you can go in and you can choose the quality, you can choose the ratio, you can shoot in 2K, you can shoot in 3K or 4K, you can shoot in any resolution that you want. You can also shoot in Filmic Quality or Filmic Extreme or Standard Quality. You can change your frame rate, meaning that you can shoot in 24, 25, 30, up to 60, even 120 and 240. If you're looking for slow motion, you're gonna wanna shoot in 60 or 120 or 240 and then slow that down in your video editor. But this gives you a ton of flexibility when it comes to shooting the right type of content. And it also has a time-lapse feature so you can shoot video time-lapses. Moving on to audio, you can either bypass the audio altogether and record only video. You can choose the audio quality that you want and if you plug in an external mic, you can choose that mic or the onboard camera microphone. Now Filmic Pro has a ton of other features, but one of the coolest features is that once you have all of this dialed in to the exact setting that you like, you can save it as a custom preset for yourself. You can even create multiple custom presets. So when you pull this out, you can go to your preset option here and you can choose the preset that you've already set and you can just grab it and take off and start shooting, which means you don't have to waste a lot of time trying to reset up Filmic Pro for each shot. Now Filmic Pro also has image stabilization, which is really cool and it's actually really good stabilization. So if you're holding this in your hand while you're out shooting, make sure you turn on stabilization. But if you have this on a tripod, make sure you turn off stabilization. I've had some problems where I've had it on a tripod, I forgot to turn off stabilization and it actually made the footage kind of wobbly. It actually took me a while to figure out what the problem was, but the problem was I left on stabilization while the camera was sitting still and it was trying to compensate for movement that wasn't there. So make sure to turn it on for movement and turn it off if it's on a tripod. Now when it comes to manual controls inside of Filmic Pro, Filmic Pro is really hard to beat. You can really dial in the exposure. You can even use zebra patterns so it can tell you if the exposure is too bright or not. And the focus is really powerful too. And down here in the bottom left, you're going to see the three little color icon. You tap on that and that's going to give you your white balance. You can balance by daylight bulbs, sunlight, clouds, incandescent bulbs, or auto, or you can dial it in on the Kelvin scale that's listed right here as temperature. Now my personal favorite part of Filmic Pro is right here on the right, you see the audio meter. You can visually see the audio while you're filming. And that is super important if you need to get your audio dialed in, which you do. So you can plug your headphones in and you can also meter the audio to make sure that it sounds right, as well as you can see it visually to make sure that everything is coming in the way it should and it's not clipping. And if you're wondering which one of these apps I think is the best or which one is the best, you're not gonna like my answer. And to be totally honest with you, the answer is the app that's the best is the one that's gonna suit your personal needs and work on your phone. What I need on my phone might not be what you need on your phone. Some people need more manual controls. Some people can just turn it on and shoot auto and that's fine. So the best thing you can do is download these apps, put them in your phone, see if they work on your phone first. And if they do, play around with them and see if they work the best for you. But if you wanna pin me down and get my personal opinion on which one is the best, I'm gonna go with Filmic Pro. And the reason I'm gonna go with Filmic Pro is number one, I like the fact that I can change the frame rate so easily. And number two, I like the visual audio metering. I think that is really convenient. And I like that I can see that metering right there on the screen. So if you wanna ask me, and if you make me give you an answer, it's gonna be Filmic Pro. But we don't know if Filmic Pro is right for you and we don't know if it's gonna work on your phone. So install it and see if it works. Once you get your head around Filmic Pro, it's an amazingly powerful app. This is really one of those apps you're gonna to have to install and check it out for yourself. If it's too much, use one of the other apps that have less features, or it might be just right for you and you might actually need all the manual controls that it gives you. And if you're wondering, right now if you actually need any of these apps the honest answer is it depends on what you're shooting and your phone if you already have a lot of manual controls on your phone and you're happy with that then no you don't need these apps however if you're wanting to dial everything in and get a perfect look with your phone or maybe even shooting a different frame rate and your native camera doesn't allow that then you might want to look into one of these apps or it's possible that maybe you just don't like how your manual settings are on your phone and one of these apps actually lays it out better and makes it easier to use for me personally I don't like the manual controls inside Inside the Samsung S9, so I use Filmic Pro as much as I can. Thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate it. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button, followed by the notification bell, so you don't miss out on future videos that are gonna help you master your mobile and make better content with your phone. And I'll see you in the next video.